Hey there, my name is Jessica and today I am going to do a super quick just American Eagle and Abercrombie like fall and winter loungewear collection video just because I just purchased a bunch of stuff from American Eagle and Abercrombie recently. Now that I'm working from home, I have found that I need a lot more loungewear which Thankfully, I am expanding my loungewear collection, which is comfy, and not my workwear collection. So this is going to be super quick. I didn't even really plan on doing this video. I just figured since I have everything here, I am going to make a few returns. wanted to go ahead and just show you what I got and how it fits so I can help you out. If you enjoy this, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. It helps so much. Every single one of you that do subscribe, it literally changes my world. I really appreciate it. And I do have a new video every single week. I hope to keep you around and see you next week. So to begin, I'm just going to start with my Airy and American Eagle items and show you my favorites from their loungewear collection, and then we'll go into Abercrombie. So the first item is this cropped tee from Airy. I love it. It's super simple. It's 100% cotton. I just needed a white basic cropped tee, and this one's very comfy, and it's not too cropped either. I do have a longer torso. This is absolutely perfect. And then these velvet leggings that are also from Airy. I love, love, love these. I'm actually going to return these because I'm probably not going to wear them that often. And I would buy them in black. I actually looked to see if Airy had them in black. They do not. And so that is why I won't be repurchasing them. But these are going back. But they are really cute and they are very comfy. The inside of the material is like a soft ribbed material almost and obviously the inside's not velvet but they're just really soft they are very warm these are a size extra small which is my true to size so they fit really nice they're very stretchy they are very comfy like i said if they had them in black i would 100 percent exchange them for black i'm just not a big fan of the way this color looks on me and i just know that i wouldn't actually get my money's worth out of them so they will be going back and now i'm actually thinking about purchasing the spanx black velvet leggings because I feel like I would wear them a lot but yeah okay next thing from Airy are these flares I absolutely love these you can see in the mirror how flared they are which I absolutely love a good pair of flare cozy pants because they're not tight around your ankles and they just feel very comfy when you're around the house I love the texture of these I did get these in the dark charcoal color they come in a few other colors this is what the inside looks like so it's about the same material as the inside of the velvet leggings but they are comfy they are cute but these are also going back just because I feel like I wouldn't wear them as much as I would wear uh, anything else and they're just not practical for me. I don't, they don't really go with the other colors I have in my closet. So for that reason, I will be taking these back. I don't really think it looks very flattering on me when it's a little bit loose. And then these are the exact same pair of pants, except these are a size small short. And the reason why I got a small in these flare is because I've noticed that the flare pants that they have, last time I bought a pair, they fit way smaller than the leggings do. But I'll save that story for the next item that I'm about to try on. Different items are usually sized different, unfortunately. But these are the short on me. I think these look a lot better just because they're not as long. Um, but I don't usually wear short length in anything. So if that tells you anything, these are very long. Um, the ones I had on before were a regular length. And these are the short. And you can see in the mirror, they still touch the floor on me. Okay, now these are the reason why I ended up getting a small in the other pants. These are actually the flare legging. And I bought these two or three months ago in black, and I bought them in an extra small because I own the leggings, which I'll show next, of this exact same line, and the extra small legging fits perfect. But for some reason, when I ordered these in extra small, I could not get them above my thigh. So these are a small, and you can see how tight they are. They are much tighter than the other ones I had on that were also a size small. They were a little bit too big. So I don't know what it is about these. I did leave a review and just let everyone know that I had to size up and they're still super tight. But these are also a short length. So as you can see in the mirror, they are high waters on me. So that's just another difference between the materials. So these are obviously going back just because they are way too short. Okay, so these are those exact same flare leggings in the exact same color, but these are a size small regular. As you can see in the mirror, they fit absolutely perfect. 
These are the only ones out of that entire order that I am keeping just because I absolutely love the way that these look and feel. My favorite thing about these flares versus the other flares that I tried on is that these are actually a little bit tighter right here in the shin. I like that because it really slims the leg and doesn't look like you're just wearing super wide leg pants. For me, that's kind of what I prefer on a smaller frame. These also have that V waist. They are just very flattering and they're very, very comfortable. And from owning the legging version of these for over a year now, I can say they are really nice, really good quality. I'm also going to tell you, which I feel like I've heard a lot of people say, these are the closest things that I found to Lululemon Aligns. This material is the closest thing in my opinion. I've seen other stuff where the material feels more like Lululemon Aligns. These are definitely more slick. But the way that they feel on your leg when you're walking around is that naked feeling, which I love about Aligns, and that's how I would say these feel. So definitely keeping these. So these are the Offline Real Me Flare, and I think they're called Rust or Brick Red or something like that, but they are a very rust color, as you can see. Here's a close-up of the color, and the material is very, very soft, super, super stretchy. It's just a really really great pant. So these I'm keeping. I wanted to show you these leggings just because I haven't shared them before, but these are also from Aerie. These are the offline high-rise high legging. They do not have the V waist. I think these are the ones that are very comparable to Lululemon Aligns. Obviously, they don't honestly hold up as well. I've had them for two years. They are just now starting to kind of pill on the top, but Lululemon Aligns do that as well. But they do have that same naked, buttery feeling. They're a little bit thinner than Aligns but they are so, so comfortable. They're just a great everyday black legging, and I've worked out in them. They do stay up, but they are more of like a slicker material when you compare it with the lines. Since this is not a Lululemon comparison video, I'll stop talking about it, but I do love these, and these are the reasons why I bought those flare leggings and a size extra small, because these are a size extra small, but I had to size up to a small in the legging. So, just to give you a little comparison, I have had these for a very, very, very long time, and I still absolutely adore them. Okay, and next from Aerie are these sweatpants. I have had these for a few months now as well, and I absolutely love them. They have the tight ankle, so they're kind of like a jogger, but they're just very, very, very comfortable. And these are a size extra small tall, specifically because... When the ankles are tight like this, I really like them to be full ankle length, and I knew every time I buy pants like this, they're way too short and they look like kids' pants on me. So I'm glad that I got the tall version because this is how they fit. You can see they still hit my ankle. They have pockets. They do have a fleece inside, and it's very, very, very soft, super comfy. Absolutely love these. These are great if you're looking for just a good pair of lounge sweatpants. And I just got a black color because I didn't have a black pair of sweatpants, so... These are them. Okay, so now we are going into Abercrombie and & Fitch, and this is the sweatsuit that I actually purchased um, probably last spring, and I absolutely love it. This is the balloon sleeved hoodie, and you can see in the mirror the hood on it, and it is a really nice cropped length. I like that for when you're wearing them with sweatpants, you can just kind of tuck it in here. And it just looks a little bit better than it would if you just had on like a huge sweatshirt. Kind of adds some shape as well. And then these sweatpants are Abercrombie & Fitch. Everything that I'm wearing here is just a size extra small. Regular, no shorts, no talls. Fits really nice. I like that the pants don't have a drawstring. They have pockets. They're just very, very, very comfortable. I like that they're a little bit more form-fitting as well. They just look a little bit nicer. My favorite thing about them is this cute little ruffle detail here where it gathers at the ankle. I just love the detail that Abercrombie puts into all of their clothes. Both of these pieces are fleece aligned. I have had them for a very long time and you can see it's still very soft. There has been no pilling and I do wash them very frequently because I wear these all the time. They are super, super warm, absolutely love it, and I got them in this limestone color just because I feel like it's a great neutral, goes with everything, but I'm not like blacked out when I wear it. So that is the first sweat suit from Abercrombie. I also did want to mention, even though this is a fall and winter haul, I do have the shorts that go with this, and um, this is what they look like. I just got, I think these are called the Sunday short, I'm not really 100% sure. No, they're not Sunday short. I'm not really sure what they're called, but they also have pockets and they're the exact same color. So I kind of got this like three piece set so I could wear it all year round. And I absolutely love the Abercrombie Lounge. 
The shorts, however, are not fleece lined. They're more like a terry lined, but they're very comfortable. If I can't find these exact ones, I will link the full set, like comparable pieces down below. But Abercrombie has a great, great lounge collection. Just since I mentioned that I do have these Abercrombie pants in the short version, I also wanted to mention I also have these sweat shorts from Aerie as well. Wider leg short and they do have a high waist as well. These are also fleece lined so they're very comfortable. I just wanted to show you I do buy the short versions when I can for lounging around on warmer days. The next thing from Abercrombie is this quarter zip pullover. It is very very soft. It's also kind of a crop length as you can tell which is perfect but it's not too too cropped. Have this on the floor so that you can see this. But I wanted to show you, it's like a charcoal color, but the material is really lightweight and comfy. This is part of the Soft AF collection. The inside is like a really luxe material, and so it's not fleece, which I kind of like because fleece tends to ball up after a year of washing in the washing machine. This won't do that. Super soft, very slick feeling. It's just a really nice, lightweight, but very warm quarter zip. Absolutely love this. It is great quality. I also do like something that doesn't have a hood. I feel like I have a lot of things with hoods on it and this is nice because it's not getting in the way of my hair and it's not like choking me on my neck. This is just a must have. And the very last item that I have, I still have the tags on it, but this is a basic tank from Abercrombie. I put it in the lounge collection because I feel like whenever I'm just lounging around the house in a pair of sweatpants or yoga pants, I really just want a basic soft tank top to throw under a cardigan like if I get cold. So I absolutely love this. It is racer back and it's high neck. So I feel like this is a really good basic tank to own just because you can wear it with so much. It also looks really nice under like a leather jacket or a cardigan, anything like that. So. It's a really great layering piece. They're only $25 for one, and they just are really good material. Like, they're ribbed and super soft. So I got it in the black, and I also got a white version. Just wanted to cover my basics, but I feel like these kind of tank tops you can never have too many of, but I honestly don't even own one, so that's why I needed to go ahead and get a black one and a white one. So they are a ribbed material, but they're pretty thick. As you can see, this is the white one, and you can't like see my skin tone unless I really stretch it out, and even then it's just a really good quality tank. You're not going to find a tank like this in Target. I just love the way that it's double lined around the whole arm and the neck. It's just a really flattering, flattering piece. The length of it Here's the length of it. They are considered cropped, but again, as you can see, even I have a long torso and I could still technically like tuck them in. So they're not so cropped where they're up here, which is such a problem that I have with my torso length. So these are just a perfect, perfect tank. So I got two colors, 25 bucks a piece, and that's everything. So that was everything. I really hope that you enjoyed. And like I said, please subscribe. And I do upload videos every single week. So I will see you next week. Mm -hmm.